Hello everyone, this is Endgame Arts. This is another special little heads up video about a physical release that I've done before in the past. Now keep in mind, I do not have any of these physical copies, so I can't give you a 100% confirmation, but I have links down in the description of a site that has provided pers deep information about the PS5 and PS4 version, as well as a viewer on the channel who has helped before in the past and about providing information on physical copies. He has helped in past for me as well as other viewers, so I do consider his information to be legit. And he himself has claimed he does have the PS5 and PS4 version. Now, now the links and descriptions do provide this information if you want 100% more confirmation. Now, jump right into it. The PS5 version only comes with one disc, and it's the base vanilla version of the game. And all bonus DLCs and so forth must be downloaded with a DLC code that's provided when you buy the game. The PS4 version comes with two discs. One is an install disc and one's a play disc. This install disc comes with actually all previous release DLC as well as the newest one, Combat 2, which comes with Rambo, Molina, and so forth, and Rain, I believe. Now, both of them do have redeem codes that will be like upgrading you to the PS5 version. I think the PS5 version is just going to upgrade you to like give you all the DLC. Now, both of them do have the Time Warrior DLC, which is not on disc, they both have redeem codes. The heads up about this is that the PS5 version seems to be the inferior version, as it is the base vanilla version of the game, while the PS4 version actually gives you all the content on disc, as well as a more up-to-dated version than the Aftermath collection, which comes with the update version, I think, 1.14 on disc, while this new Ultimate Edition comes with the update version 1.24 on disc for the PS4. I just wanted to bring this head up information since there's probably a new a lot of people who's just bought a PS5 is all eager to buy a new fighting game and so forth and to find out that when you buy the PS5 version you'll have to download everything. It does come with a disc but that disc is just a base vanilla version of the game. So in my personal opinion as a physical collector and someone who might want to preserve games and so forth it seems like it'd be just better to outright buy the PS4 version and then just use a redeem code to upgrade yourself to the PS5 version. You'll get more for your money. Now, please keep in mind, this information is strictly for the PAL versions of these games. The US version could be different. This has happened in the past where the US version and the PAL versions have been different. It is rare, but it has happened. Now, I'm just providing this information so that way you can know that I mean, if you're buying an American version, please keep in mind that it may not all be on disc, and you might want to just look and maybe go in the PS4 version, as I mean, you can buy the PS4 version and just upgrade it with the redeem code, and then now you have the PS5 version. So, in the end, I, I, I just I don't really understand why they did this. I mean, the PS5 should very well easily been able to fit all this stuff on the disc. Maybe it would have an install disc, but that's not, I'm, not, I'm fine with an install disc. The disc I can pop in once, install all the information, and then just pop in a play disc, and I can just enjoy my content. So, I just wanted to bring this heads up to you. This is very disappointing, especially if someone who's all eager to buy buying a PS5 version and get a PS5 disc of this game and find out he has to download everything. My personal opinion, keep an eye out, maybe hold off until you can start getting more information before you go out there and try to buy a physical copy to support a bad business practice that they have done, W Games have done with this Mortal Kombat Ultimate Collection. So again, it's very disappointing. I want to thank all the viewers and so forth and that the person who has provided this information as well as the link to the sites that I provide who have provided this information. As well, the site is in German, but you can use Google Translate to help you. So again, just not don't praise me or thank me. Thank to all the people who go out of their way to provide this information before release. They do an amazing job and they deserve all the credit. So thank you all for them for helping me as well as helping all you. And I just wanted to make a video to head you give, give you guys all a heads up about this terrible bat product product design and just frustrating just disappointment for the PlayStation 5. I could not find any information about the Xbox Series X, so that's still up there. The site doesn't have any information about the Series X either version of the game, but just hold that with the same, hold it off as the same thing as the PlayStation. It has been different sometimes on physical releases for the Xbox and PS4 or PS5 or whatever, but just keep in mind. So just have that information. I hope this helped you. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to get provide you keep providing you guys better information and more information in the past of physical releases. So again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.